This vehicle has been provided for Corey Fulham Car Guide to Film by Lakeshore Motors Limited, Chevrolet Buick and GMC of Kirkland Lake, Ontario. At Lakeshore Motors, they have a good selection of new Chevrolet vehicles, Buick and GMC vehicles, and a good selection of good quality pre-owned vehicles. To check out their full inventory, feel free to stop by at lakeshoremotorslimited.com. For additional information about Lakeshore Motors, check out the description below where you'll find information such as their address and their telephone number. What's going on everyone? Corey Fulham, your car guy here. And today I have here behind me is a all new and redesigned 2024 Chevrolet Traverse RS with all wheel drive. This one's top of the line. I'm gonna show it to you right now. Sporty design over here, black rims. This one's got the cut metal rims over here, which you can see. This one's actually wearing a 275, 45 or 22s, 22 inch rims. Same on that side, cut nettle rims for cut nettle tires. But uh, it does have dual exhaust over here. The all new redesigned Traverse does have remote start. We'll just make sure we press the lock button and then just press the button twice. And that should fire up that 2.5 liter turbocharged four cylinder. So the all new 2024 Traverse with the RS model does come equipped with a smart key system by just keeping the key fob in your pocket. Just press this chrome button over here to lock and then have to wait in a second, just tap the button again for the driver's door and once more for the rest of the doors. It's pretty nice. Chevrolet logo over here. It's all soft to the touch. Red accent over here. Red accents over here on the uh, seats. RS logos. It does have red color accent stitching over here on the steering wheel. RS logo on the uh, steering wheel as well. So the all new and redesigned 2024 Traverse with the RS model does have push button start low key over here. All you have to do is set your key fob down, apply your foot to the brake, and then just press right there. Fires right up. We'll shut the door. On this one, you get a nice three spoke steering wheel over here. Nice and simple. It does have the Super Cruise technology over here activated by this button over here. As long as you have the uh, adaptive cruise control turned on, you turn the cruise control on and then just press this. Pretty nice. And of course we got the uh, gap adjust button over here where you can adjust the gap. Uh, audio controls over here. It does have a heated steering wheel over here and you push that. You can access all the different gauges over here. That's kind of nice to see. You got the temperature, fuel, digital speedometer and the tachometer there. Press it again. You can access the Google Maps over here so you can see where you're going. Press it again. You got that nice little gauge over here and as well as the gap adjust feature. You can uh, see the gap there. I'm gonna press it again. Go back to the digital speedometer. So the transmission available on the all new 2024 Chevrolet Traverse, especially the redesigned model, including the LS models, LT, Z71, and as well as the RS models, both feature a eight speed automatic gearbox. If you wanna put the vehicle in neutral, just put your foot on the brake and then just pull the gear selector toward you. That's neutral. Now you're in neutral. If you wanna put the vehicle in drive, do the same thing, pull it toward you and then down. That's drive. If you wanna put it in reverse, do the same thing, pull it toward you again, and then go up, that's reverse. Every time you put the vehicle in reverse, your backup camera automatically comes on, as well as the adjustable guidance lines that will adjust as you turn the wheel. It's kind of neat. If you want to put the vehicle in park, just press the P button over here, and then you're all set to go. So this particular all new redesigned 2024 Traverse RS features a touch screen along with AM FM radio, Google Assistant, Bluetooth, and Sirius XM satellite radio. 
So we'll go to audio over here, switch to FM, we'll tune, switch to that channel. You've got a nice cool little volume control over here. And then we can switch to uh, Sirius XM. Pretty neat. We can go over here. We got Google Maps, phone, where you can connect your phone over here. And then we got the home screen, vehicle status. And then we got maintenance over here. You can check the uh, tire pressure, brake pad life, oil life, and engine air filter life. Over here we got gauges, we got the transmission fluid uh, temperature right there, coolant temperature, oil temperature, oil pressure, and as well as battery voltage. We got the trip odometer over here, fuel economy and current trip. Right over here you can see everything's performing in the current moment. And of course we got the controls, controls and safety, doom lights, power window lockout that cuts power to the rear windows. And then we got the camera where you can access all the different camera views. We can access the overhead camera, side view camera, we can access the uh, rear view camera. It's actually kind of cool to see. And of course we got the uh, traction control button over here which you can turn on and off if you like. Auto high beams, you can turn that on if you like. And it does have the auto park assist that can actually park itself. See more controls, universal remotes, lights, drive and park, doors and windows, same thing, power window lockout, doom light, go back to audio, and then you got the headlight controls over here, controls, same thing, go back to home, Google Assistant, Help. Check these out. You can say, read Stardust or restaurants near me. And then we got trailering over here. Light test, checklist over here. We got Amazon Alexa over here. Change your settings. Connections, vehicle. Change the date and time option, updates, whatever you like. Personalize your settings on here. Ambient lighting. You can change the color on that. That's probably one of the good things I like about this vehicle, honestly. But uh, climate controls. You can actually control the climate controls from the touch screen or down below. You can actually change the blower fan speed over here, change all the different zones. Um, front and rear defrost, auto, you can uh, change the uh, function over here, that's actually kind of neat, AC, recirculating air, it does have heated seats as well, heated and cool seats, we got Wi-Fi hotspot over here, as well as the My Chevrolet app over here. The My Chevrolet app is where you can access all the different features right from your mobile device, like doing the remote commands like lock, unlock, trunk, or activate the uh, alarm system, or remote start the vehicle. Or you can access your um, driver information like uh, oil life, um, whatever you want. Then we got podcasts over here. Go back to Sirius XM. And then we got the uh, volume controls located over here on the steering wheel. You can actually control it. And it started pretty slowly. I like this. Or you can access the previous and next buttons. Change your presets over here. Like classic rewind. We can bring that up. That's actually the classic rock channel. This is awesome. And of course it does have pedal shifters over here with simulated gears. I'll show you that right now. 
We've got paddle shifters, electric parking brake over here, and of course we got the modes. That features all your different drive modes, including normal mode, got tow haul mode, which raises the shift points for better performance while towing, snow slash ice mode, off-road mode, sport mode, back to normal, all-wheel drive switch over here. That switches into all-wheel drive over here. Press it again, switch it back to uh, two-wheel drive. It does have automatic start-stop technology. Right over here. All right, so anyways, we're gonna go ahead and flip on the headlights. If you wanna turn the headlights on, just press the headlight over here, headlight icon, and then just turn on the headlights over here. And then we'll switch on the hazards. This button over here. Automatic driver side window. And we'll go check out the exterior. I like that new uh, redesigned front fascia over here especially with the Chevrolet logo and the RS logo over here. That new front grille design is just awesome. Especially compared to the uh, all new and redesigned 2025 Chevrolet Equinox. And the all new electric uh, Chevrolet Blazer EV. So let's go pop the front over here and we'll check out that engine. The only redesigned 2024 Chevrolet Traverse does have a 2.5 liter double overhead cam, turbocharged four cylinder, that is producing at 328 horsepower at 5,500 RPM and 326 foot pounds of torque at 3,500 RPM. So let's go shut it down and we'll check out the rest of the vehicle. You have the back side over here. Rear climate controls are located over here as well. And as well as the heated seats for the rear occupants. Cup holders, storage down below, and as well as two USB ports, AC power outlet down there. As you can see, the all new Chevrolet Traverse does have the Bose sound system over here. You can see over here on the left side. Bose speakers. We'll go check out that power lift to get over here. Press the button twice and it opens it. It's all power. Extra cargo space back here. The back seats do fold down. I'll show you that over here. We just press down and it comes down just like that. And then we'll do the same for that right seat over here comes down just like that we can just uh, put the seat back up back to its original position over here armrests right over here and of course it does have the uh, second seat over here We'll just push that down. It's all power. It's awesome to see. We'll just uh, put them back up. Headrest. Nice and strong. There's no help needed. Anyways, we'll just go ahead and uh, close the tailgate. We'll just push that button once. That will close the lift gate only. It cannot be open with that switch. Simple as that. And also we got storage over here behind the uh, passenger seat over here storage over here behind the driver's seat storage pocket down there as well it's all plastic check out the passenger side Chevrolet logos over here on the passenger side door sill glove box instructions manual Cirrus XM guide it does have a sunroof on top over here 
with your sunroof controls. Right there. Sunglasses storage. OnStar system. This thing's fully loaded with everything. And then we got the uh, wireless charger down below over here. Two USB ports and as well as the 12 volt power outlet to plug in your uh, 12 watt or 20 watt car charger, whatever you have to charge up your iPhone or your Android phone, whatever you have. And there you go, guys. That wraps it up for this video and I hope you all enjoyed. Go ahead and subscribe to this channel if you haven't already because I've got a lot more videos coming up. And also click on the bell on the right if you want to get notified of new uploads. There's always a lot more where it came from. Take care, everyone.